Hi, this is uh, Rich Richards. I'm the store manager of Innovative Car Audio here in Taylorsville, Utah. I've been in this business uh, for over 20 years. I quit counting. I've been running this store for pretty close to 17 years, I think. And uh, today I want to talk to you about how to tell if a subwoofer is blown or not. Well, first of all, there's some, some real basic things that you can do to kind of tell. Okay, one is you want to push down on the cone with both fingers, okay, one on each side so that you make sure that you're not off axis when you're pushing it up and down. And you want to notice if you hear any scratching noises or if it won't move. Now, if the subwoofer won't move at all when you push down on it, then it's definitely bad. It's frozen solid. Voice coil's just frozen solid. Um, the, if you test that and everything seems to be okay, the other thing you want to test is the, the kind of the suspension. When you push in, is it a little more difficult to push in on? Or is it real easy? Does it flop back and forth real easy? Which would indicate that the spider's wearing out if it did that. Now, of course, this is a brand new subwoofer, so, you know, it's tight as far as that goes. Okay, then you've got your terminals, okay? And basically, you have a positive and a negative terminal on the sub. And what you want to do is you want to use a digital voltmeter and you want to hook up your positive lead on the positive and your negative lead on the negative. Okay? Now, this is a 4 ohm sub. Now, you want to make sure that there's nothing touching the cone and that you're also not in an environment where there's air that can make the cone move. Okay, this sub is rated at 4 ohms, is what it's, what it's rated at. Okay, if you see what the meter says, the meter's reading somewhere between 3.7 and 3.8. Um, <clears throat> this, that, that is an okay resistance for this sub. It, none of them are ever going to read exactly 4 ohms, if it's a 4 ohm sub. So, what you want to watch for on the meter is you want to watch and see if that if, if uh, the reading uh, stabilizes or if it jumps all over the place. Now, jumping all over the place doesn't mean deviating from point, uh, 0.3 to point 0.5 or something like that. What you want to look for is deviations that would go, say, it was reading 2 ohms, and all of a sudden it's reading 15, then 26, then 3, then 7. You see it deviating like that. That's a clear indication that more than likely the subwoofer's blown.